out a new sponsor to Health Blaze. All the information is in the description. Use the promo code above. Good filler one boxing at 18% off of all their natural products from deodorant, pomade, toothpaste, and much, much more. And they have additional discounts on their website as well. That's the healthblaze.com. Start December 20th. That promo code is good for 18% off. Y'all see it? It's Trump season. <laughs> we back, man. Good fellow Sports TV. Appreciate everybody for checking in. Make sure you hit that subscribe button, bell icon button. Won't miss another video. And um, I heard Deontay Wilder, Tyson Fury is a done deal. To say rumor allegedly right now, February twenty second. Um, not sure back what the venue was at, but I'll link a source into the Twitter and uh, from Twitter in the description from Lance Pugmire, LA Times. And you know, it's a done deal. Um, Wilder Fury after the Super Bowl, um, football be going off, combine won't be started, the NBA just be in the the middle of its uh, <laughs> uh, like I think it'd be the middle of its season. I think the All Star weekend got moved up, trade deadline got moved up, so I think it's a really, really good date. Um, for Wilder Fury and um, for the rematch, and obviously neither one could become um, one step closer to undisputed because Andrew Weiss has an obligation to fight um, Bratsworth Puev um, after the fight, and I say Bratsworth as a, as a joke, Kubrick Puev. He has to fight Puev by May thirty first, long as he and Anthony Joshua fights. Um, December 7th, which I'm pretty sure I heard that's is that's going to be the date in Saudi Arabia. But um, I heard that there's no women allowed in the stadium. That's another hold up. And Andy Ruiz wants his wife and I guess or his girl and his sisters and his mom to be there. So um, I kind of give you some more Andy Ruiz news in this video. I'm not making it like a video about it. It's just a lot of back and forth. But um, Water Fury 2, February 22nd. It got made. Um, but you know why it gets made? It's because Deontay Wilder wants to smoke. You know, Deontay Wilder wants the best fights for his career. You know, that's why it's being made. Wilder don't have to fight Tyson Fury. You know, he, as long as he get past Luis Ortiz November 23rd without no cuts, as long as Fury get past Otto Wallen without no cuts or losing, it, this happens because Wilder wants the best to fight, wants the best fights for him. This happens because Wilder, you know, has some say so in his career. And why this man, Errol Spence, you know, is uh, you know, uh, fighting the guys that he fighting, like Sean Porter, shout out to that fight, some unification bout. But it make him look bad, in my opinion, because Deontay is crossing the street and fighting the top ranked fighter and uh and Tyson Fury. And it just seemed like you and your compadres and y'all Y'all vocal like y'all not avoiding him. And they was vocal about not avoiding Errol Spence. Oh, nobody's avoiding Errol Spence. He has to, what Andre Berto said, he has to pay his dues. Nobody's avoiding Errol Spence. And Errol Spence sounds just like those same dudes, you know what I'm saying, you know, was saying about him and referring to Terrence Crawford. And, and more power to him. But this type of move from, from Deontay, that they can get a deal done but with Tyson Fury, who's with top rank, crossing the street, to make Earl Spence look bad. Bob Aaron told Tom, I didn't catch the whole interview after I finished watching it, that we've been talking to Al Heyman about that. We've been talking to Al Heyman about that fight. And, uh, you know, they was able to get this fight done with Wilder Fury. But Wilder Fury, I think it's a, uh, it's a good fight. I think it'd be a better fight if Wilder Bells was on the line. But obviously, if a if AJ lose to Andrew Ruiz Jr. again, then Deontay is the only one capable of getting all those belts. But what what actually I think held up the fight at one point was the simple fact that it was a chance that Andrew Ruiz, um, you know, wasn't gonna get stripped or didn't have to have a mandatory, and they was able to squeeze that fight in. You know, like oh shit, we can we can squeeze the Andrew Ruiz fight in after the Luis Ortiz fight. When they, I think when they found out that Andrew Ruiz had to fight uh, Buev, they like, oh, you know, we might as well go ahead and do this fight. Because what, what else fight is there for Deontay Wilder out there? If Ortiz win or some more content, he could do a trilogy with Ortiz he talked about. Don't nobody want to see that. Trevor Bryan, don't nobody want to see that. Who Fury got to fight? 
Alexander Usyk, nobody wants to see that right now. He got to prove himself October 12th. And he got a mandatory shot at the title, too, that you got to watch out for. He's the WBO super champion. He has a shot, a mandatory. So right now is the best time to do the fight. Um, Tyson Fury win. And if Puev win versus Andy Ruiz, then ESPN ain't going to have undisputed. But they should go ahead and put Andy Ruiz and Puev on the undercard. You know what? And I think that'll make a ton of sense. Andrew Weiss, Puev, Undercard, Fury Wilder. Make a ton of sense. You know, why not, why not, you know, why not feature uh, what Undisputed could look like? And obviously, uh, Alexander Usyk is going to try to put his finger in the pot. Eddie Hearn, that's his trump card. He got Usyk as the WBO Super Champion mandatory. And yes, it's a real thing. If you become a super champion in WBO, you can move up and get a shot at the next title uh, at the next weight class. I don't know if you can move back, but I know Terry Flanagan, Terrence Crawford, um, Demetrius Andra got it. He declined to use it versus Matt Corbett. So it's, it's, it's happened to a multi-racial uh, or, you know, melting pot of fighters. So it's, it's happened before. So um, so Andrew Weiss 2020 can look like Pueb and Usyk. If he can get past Anthony Joshua, now Anthony Joshua's gonna look like Pueb and Usyk as well. So you know, but I think if Joshua he get, he fight Pueb, I think Andy Hearn, Eddie Hearn may you know encourage Usyk to take a year of tune ups, and then in twenty twenty one he feed him to uh, to Anthony Joshua, which I like Pueb in that fight as of right now. Um, if that was to happen, him or Ruiz, you know, that'd be a good fight. Um, I think Ruiz got a shot. I think Pueb got a shot. But at the end of the day, this just make Errol Spence look even worse and Terrence Crawford look even worse because they both, because Wilder and Fury can cross the street to make the fight. You would think it would be a two-for-one deal. You know what I'm saying? Like, all right, we got this this done. Let's get this done. But like I said a long time ago, man, the Errol Spence team don't want that fight. He out here saying a lot of propaganda. You know, he's saying one thing, but his team is saying something behind behind the, se behind the uh, scenes. It ain't really strap season. It's selective strap season. And the number one problem that I have with him is that you sold yourself as this dominant Mack truck that's willing or this monster truck that's willing to run over all these civilian cars at any given point in chance. You sold yourself as the dominant boogeyman in the division. And really, you, you like the Wizard of Oz. You a little fucking man behind the curtain. You know, you a little man behind the curtain, and we 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 really believe we really believe that you was you was trying to get all the smoke, and you wasn't you look you some smoke junior. We believe this guy was was going was going just you know revolutionize boxing. He was gonna take all the tough comers. He was gonna you know fight the tough fights, and you know when it boiled when it boiled down to he didn't. When it came down to somebody that we identified that was like a. Another, another, another dominant fighter. We like, man, that's gonna, that's that's gonna be a fight. You know, Earl Spencer stumped Terence Crawford, but it's gonna be a good fight. And what it really boiled down to is, he put his, you know, his nuts shriveled up in his stomach. That's what would have boiled down to, man. He didn't want that fight. His team was coming off saying that he wasn't ready. Um, he needed more season behind the scenes, and they had all the fighters over at PBC to fight, but. You know, at the same time, man, you know, for him, um, you can't, I mean, it's a bad look. It's a bad look. Fury Wilder fighting in a rematch. Top rank controls Fury, for those who don't know. And you and then you fighting Sean Porter, and then you're going to fight Ugas. And they ordered that fake mandatory. Um, so, because they, the Pacquiao, don't want to fight you. So, you know, it is what it is. People have their conspiracy theories. People say, I'm hating, I'm reaching. I'm not reaching. It's all facts. You know, his mandatory, if Mikey and Danny fight, Errol Spence's mandatory is going to be Yugis. A Yugis that Al Hammond could pay off to allow Crawford fight to happen. But right now, for Errol Spence, Manny Pacquiao has become his new Keith Thurman. He going to use Manny Pacquiao as a reason not to fight Bud and use Undisputed as a reason not to fight Bud. But it is what it is. If Fury and Wilder 2 could be made with Bob Arum and Todd above Carl Morelli, Carl Morelli, who was the matchmaker at top rank. Now, I know somebody asked yesterday in the chat. I went live. Who was the matchmaker at a uh, PBC? I don't know, um, or whoever for TGB Promotions, Luda, but whoever they working with, Mayweather Promotions. But, um, but if they can make those fights uh, with um, with Wilder and Fury, then you gotta ask yourself why they can't make Errol Spence and Terence Crawford, and that's because somebody don't want it. 
And that's somebody, it ain't stop Bob Aram ain't stopping it. Carl Reddy, Ty the Buff ain't stopping it. That's somebody is uh Errol Spence team, you know, but it is what it is. Appreciate the love and support. Don't forget me on Facebook, Instagram, Twitter. Reach out to the email if you have business questions, inquiry, sponsorship, video requests. Check our sponsorship, our sponsor out the help place, the helpblaze.com. Promo code Goodfellow on box and get you 18% off the hundred percent all natural products, low soaps, for soaps, bath bombs, deodorant, toothpaste, hair pot made, much, much more. Website promo code in description. Check out my Twitch channel. I'll be some streams over there. Game streams, uh, blogging. So check me out. Website promo code description. We gone.